Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. This is our demonstration part which I loaded and it's already aligned into the coordinate system as you can see on the screen. I'll just turn off the coordinate system for now. So what it's about, we will speak in this tutorial, it's about the stacked sections. Before I continue, I'll just go to Mesh Edit and just select with the magic wand just this area. And I will close my selection tool. So now what I will do, I will just go and start creating my 2D sketch. As you learned from our previous tutorials, you can just drag your plane and put it wherever you want. And by default, because there are some selected triangles, the software automatically choose to go through the selection only, which you can control always from this checkbox. In many cases, if we want to create a high quality reverse engineering, it's really important to get more information on these slides so we can get a better accuracy. For these purposes, we have something what is called stacked sections. And I will select this option now. So what happened in this moment is, as you can see on the screen, is that the software automatically found the volume of this selected area and then created 20 number of slices that can be extracted. So this is initially, and if you just move now your plane, this volume will be dragged together. If you want to reset everything, you can just unselect stack sections and select it again. Now it's aligned. If you unselect the true selection only, this will be applied on the whole object, as you can see. But let's focus now on this more practical object. So I'll go on through selections only, and I have this area. So what else we can do is that we have these two other balls on the screen, which are handles. This means that you can actually drag this and adjust where you want to apply your selections. For example, here I can just move this a bit further. And in this way, I can actually more accurately can extract what I need in this case. Even more, I can just move this up. So this is just for demonstration. You can see now that these are the areas that will be sliced and all of the slices will be projected actually onto the plane where we want to work. And to complete my demonstration, I will just create this sketch. We'll hide the mesh and we'll go and zoom closer so you can see that we have now points from all the sketches extracted here. Why this is important? Because if we want to extract a circle here, for example, I'll just pan this and create a circle. This will be much more accurate and will ensure that you have a high quality reverse engineering product. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.